Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. In today's news, Queen vs Donald Trump. The tough Queen who can refuse Trump's bizarre Greenland bid. Donald Trump's reportedly wish to buy Greenland will be squashed by one tough Queen. This is the royal that would put an end to the US President's bizarre bid to buy the world's largest island. U.S. President Donald Trump has raised eyebrows following reports that he wishes to buy Greenland. The Wall Street Journal reported Mr. Trump has discussed plans to purchase the territory. With various degrees of seriousness, the former real estate magnate is a fan of massive gestures having built Donald Trump and the Taj Mahal Trump, sorry, Trump Tower and the Taj Mahal Casino, among other projects. But one stem monarch makes the purchase of Greenland very unlikely. In the wake of reports that Mr. Donald Trump requested his advisers about the logistics of buying Greenland territory, territory officials have shot him down. Officials in Greenland have insisted the island is not on the market. Greenland is rich in valuable resources as materials, the purest water and ice, fish stocks, seafood, renewable energy and in a new frontier for adventure tourism. We're open for business, not for sale, the foreign minister said in a statement shared on social media. Greenland Premier Kim Kelsen repeated the comment in the separate statement. Greenland is not for sale, but Greenland is open for trade and cooperation with other countries, including the USA, he said. As well as Greenland officials, Mr. Trump would have to get through a queen to buy the island. Queen Margaret of Denmark is currently monarch of the historical distributed island. She will, ha will host Donald Trump during a state visit this September and will likely reinforce the fact that autonomous Danish territory is not for sale. Who is Queen Margaret the? <laughs> Queen Margaret the second of Denmark is the regional constitutional monarch. The 79-year-old came to the throne on July 14, 1972. She is the daughter of Frederick IV of Denmark and Ingrid of Sweden. She became her presumptus to her father in 1953 with a constitutional amendment <laughs> allowed women to inherit the throne. She is the second longest reigning Danish monarch to ever have lived and has been on the throne for 47 years. The Queen was married to Henry de Lobre de Modpesda, <laughs> who died last year. The Queen has two sons, Crown Prince Frederick and Prince Joachim. In addition to her roles in her own country, the Queen is also colonel in chief of the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment, Queens and Royal Hampshire, and inf infantry regime of the British Army, following a tradition in her family. Donald Trump would have to grant Queen Garamith permission if he was ever to purchase Denmark, a concession that seems highly unlikely. And that is all for today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.